Throughout time, poets, philosophers and psychologists have generally agreed that there are really only two emotions, love and fear. Everything else stems from these. Love is what we are born with, the sheer joy available in this present moment when we are open and receptive to the world. Fear, on the other hand, is an illusion. Fear only exists within the confines of the past memories of how things went and the meaning we made of them and the future where our worries congregate around what could happen. Fear is contraction, a pulling away, closing off and perpetual comparison. Fear cannot exist without comparison. Love, on the other hand, is expansive, opening up, creating endless possibilities and unconditional to surrounding circumstances. It is vulnerability at its finest, knowing that no matter what happens, we are living life to its fullest. So how does this affect my daily life? Today I will share three guiding concepts that can be applied when in the midst of making a decision or wanting to interpret a situation. Number one, breathe. Fear is without breath. When we can use our physiology to expand our capacity for breath, we invite love into our bodies. We introduce expansion into our vocabulary, allowing ourselves to see the growth and possibilities in each situation. Number two, experience and enjoy the present moment. Because fear lives in the past memories and future worries, the more we can stay present in our bodies and what is going on around us, the more we are open to life unfolding as it actually is, whatever that may be. Number three, when in doubt, trust your body. When you find yourself at a crossroads where a decision needs to be made, instead of weighing pros and cons or debating merits, trust your body. Listen and attune to your physiological response to know where you experience the greatest expansion. The Messenger Wasallam said, consult with your heart. Above all that has been mentioned, it is important to remember that love is our natural state. Love is what we were born with. Fear is what we learned here in the world. The only meaning in any challenge or obstacle is the meaning we prescribe to it. And we have a choice in the moment to declare what that meaning is for us. Reattuning to love is not so much about ignoring or denying fear as it is about peeling back the layers, releasing the armor and allowing a pure fullness of experience. Young kids live love, present to whatever it is, embracing life in all its messy glory. We could all stand to learn a lesson from that. When we find that we are presently living in the side of fear, we can decide whether we would rather choose love instead. When we make that decision, we are taking control of our emotions rather than letting them control us.